Hey there, this is a Bluetooth transmitter. So basically, if you don't have a Bluetooth enabled device, this can help you. So basically, that's a pretty simple device. Uh, all you have up is button over here, which instruction does say that it is a place pause button, but it really isn't. And uh, all you need is just to connect a 5 volt from the power bank, for example. Let's see, 5 volts and our device over here. We will measure the current. Uh, unfortunately, it's yeah, on the other side, but let me just put my headphones into the pairing mode. So I will just press and hold the power button. Just watch this LED over here. See, it's it's solid. So. Uh, it's working now. Oh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it should be playing for you now. So uh, that's about it. This is obviously connected to the uh, output uh, of my laptop. And as you can see here, basically nothing. So I don't think so. Uh, I, I think about 10 milliamps, something like that. But uh, keep that in mind that uh, it will probably turn off the power bank while after some time. And uh, because most of those are uh, checking the current usage, and if it's less than 100, then it will simply shut off the power. Uh, let's take a look inside. Okay, so let, let's use a spudger. Uh, this is a pretty simple device, uh, but to be honest, it's, it's all you need for, for example, a TV without Bluetooth output. Uh, all you need is 5 volts, which uh, most of the TVs already have. This is the uh, this is the button part, uh, which is actually mute button, so it stops outputting over Bluetooth. Uh, so. As you can see it's pretty simple as a device one chip one uh, uh, one crystal uh, yeah, some kind of resistors and capacitors a mute button and the if you want to remove all of this you probably would be able to connect to the board directly uh, maybe if I keep it shut it would be better and so that, 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 that's pretty simple I will try to look up this chip and we'll let you know what, what I uh, come up with. I wasn't able to find anything on this one, but as you can see here, uh, that's 24, tel uh, 24 meg uh, crystal, I think. So that's probably uh, used to generate the frequency uh, for, for the Bluetooth. But other than that, you can, well, basically, if you want to incorporate this inside your TV, just connect plus and minus to 5 volts rails and uh, uh, put the si signal output of the, uh, of the sound directly. And uh, this, this may be connected to your change output uh, on some TVs or um, if, if you are in Europe SCART on some TVs uh, they output always the line out signal let's say through the change uh, connection so uh, uh, all you have to do is to mute uh, the usual output but you won't be able uh, to uh, change the volume uh, on your TV and you will have to have some headphones with uh, volume control uh, other than that, I basically don't see anything unusual. Uh, you might be able to increase the uh, output, I mean the, uh, the range of this device by changing and removing those capacitors over here uh, near the antenna. But well, that, that's, that's a pretty experimental thing to do. It may just break the circuit, uh, and uh, I'm, by that I mean it will simply stop working. But that, that's basically it. Uh, pretty small device, pretty pretty useful, uh, at least for me. And I can now use my Bluetooth headphones with my TV. Thanks for watching.